Hey guys, G Dog here, and welcome to a quick tip video on Fallout 4. Today we're looking at supply lines, how to set them up, and how they actually work. So, to be able to actually set up supply lines, you need a perk. Now, it's in the charisma tree, so you will need to have six points in charisma, and then you will be able to unlock the local leader perk. As the ruler, everyone turns to you. You are able to establish supply lines between your workshop settlements. Right, so when you've got those, you want to obviously choose which two settlements to join together. Now I already have one joined. As you can see, I've got a sanctuary and green top nursery linked. Now I've been over at Starlight Drive and totally cleared out everything in Starlight Drive. And uh, I'd like to link Sanctuary to that. So let's go and see if we can find a settler. Now you want to be in the workshop menu for this. And some of your settlers, especially at Sanctuary, will not be able to do this for you. Like for example, um, Marcy Long won't be able to and neither will Sturgis. So we need to find one of them that is actually just called Settler. So when you found a settler, who is not a story based one, uh, you want to go on to him and then just click RB or Q on PC or I guess uh, R1 on PS4. So we want to link to Starlight Drive. So just click on that and then confirm and then he will turn into a provisioner. Now he's gonna go off to Starlight Drive but we are gonna go over there now. Right, before we go, I will just quickly show you something to show you how this works. Now, if we come to the workshop and go on transfer, you'll notice I've got loads of stuff in here. Uh, but that's not actually how it works. Now, I I was under the assumption that when you'd link to settlement, you'd have you know access to all of these items. Now, you do, in a way, but you don't have access to them through this menu. So, if we actually go onto the workshop menu, and let's go on something something a little different. So like the bathtub. So as you can see, uh, we need, we have, sorry, 163 ceramics and 1,487 steel. So if we go over now to Starlight Drive-In. Right, so as you can see, I've totally cleared this out. Now, I want to quickly show you the workshop here. Now, if I go and transfer, you notice there's nothing on the right-hand side. I actually, like, totally cleared this out to, you know, properly demonstrate. But if we go into the build menu and then go on our little bathtub, you will see, yes, we have access to the 163 ceramic and the 1,400 and 87 steel so this is great guys when you've you know found a new settlement just got there you've not got many supplies i suggest going back to sanctuary or one of your other settlements and basically just send in a provisioner over and then you can go over there afterwards and start building it up you know you don't have to like go around and destroy everything or even worse you know go and actually take some items over there so yes i hope that's helped guys uh because i were a little bit shaking myself i was like why is it not in my workbench but it is it's actually just all in the build menu and it doesn't matter which settlements are joined like if they are joined like starlight drive will have the same access in the build menu as green top nursery and as sanctuary so yeah i'll be back with some more little bids like this i'm gonna have a look at the trade installs and power in future episodes but yeah hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you later bye